Today we're going to be talking about the new artifact monster that's coming out of Extreme Forces. So this card is called Artifact Mjolnir. It is a light fairy effect monster level 5, 1300 attack and 1800 defense. It's the same thing for every artifact monster where they're level 5, fairy, 8 light, 8 and, uh, and, uh, and the stat lines are usually pretty uh, pretty obscure. Uh, except for like Moral Attack. Moral Attack is actually the, the I guess, the more, uh, kind, of the, kind of the exception, not the rule. It has three effects, so one of these one of these effects is about to be very good. So the first effect is, is built into every single artifact monster. Is you you can set this card from your hand to the spell and trap card zone. During your opponent's turn, if this set card in the spell and trap card zone is destroyed and sent to the graveyard and special summon it. Now, this is built into all to all our artifact monsters, so this is really nothing special. More attack to, 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 and all of them just do the same thing. Uh, the third effect is really weird. If this card is spe special summoned during your opponent's turn, you could target one artifact monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position. Also, you can spe you cannot special summon monsters until the end of the of the next turn, except artifact monsters. So, the reason why I said this effect is really weird is because one, it's actually a pretty decent effect aside from the really huge downside. Uh, targeting an artifact monster in the graveyard, then special summoning it in defense position is pretty good, especially if it's ta if it's comboed off like with like uh, if, you, if if this card is uh, is, is is like destroyed in your opponent's turn, you can summon Moral Talk, and then Moral Talk will get so get its effect to special to to blow up an opponent's card, which is really good. However, you can't special summon it until the next turn, which really does hinder this card a lot because there's not very many ways to special summon in artifacts as a deck. Um, and, and it, it kind of also kills it in a lot of under, other engines as well. Um, the whole problem with this card is the fact that uh, there's only really one extra deck monster, and I think if Konami remedies this at some point, um, they can, this card could be really formidable in that deck. Uh, but for right now, I think Durandal is not going to push this card over to the breaking limit. However, I think in the artifact deck as a whole, I think you probably would play one of this card because it does trigger... If it, it does trigger on your opponent's turn, and it, it will also help you trigger other cards on your opponent's, uh, um, your opponent's, uh, it will trigger another artifact monster on your opponent's turn. The problem with this card is actually the stat line, and for a level five monster, the stat line it usually is, is is like I don't know twenty three or twenty four. Moral attack is kind of the exception where it's where it's still pretty good. It sacrifices a bit of the stats for for a destruction effect, which is really nice. This card sacrifices a lot of stat power for just a special summon from the graveyard. Sure, you can combo this off with a lot of other problem with a lot of a lot of other decent cards like uh, moral talk and scythe, but for the most part, it really doesn't work that well. I think this card is best as a one of like I said. So, anyway guys, tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Team Metamorphose, and I'll be signing out.